you have heard about mixture of experts architecture but this is mixture of grouped experts this is from a new large language model from huawei who has just launched a new large language model with their own new innovative architecture trained on their own chip which is ascend npus so in this video we're going to learn how is mixture of grouped experts a different from mixture of experts moe one of the most popular ways large language models are created these days and we are also going to see how this model compares with other large language models of similar size and then finally we're going to see a small commentary about if this is going to challenge nvidia in the way large language models are trained because nvidia is the goat goat at this point where nobody is challenging nvidia except very small chip companies but at a smaller pockets so the whole idea of moe mixture of experts is that you don't need a lot of parameters all the time so what we do is instead of having a dense transformer model we're going to have mixture of experts where certain amount of parameters will be active among the total amount of parameters and then those active parameters will be activated for each input token and then thus you can run this parallelly there is a lot of load balancing help and a lot of other things that you wouldn't typically get from a dense transformers because the entire dense transformer would have to be active like it needs a lot of uh, in memory to fit in that and that is where moe came into picture but the problem that moe still has is that some experts are always activated more than other experts so that defeats the purpose of system load balancing you know parallel running and hence huawei has launched mixture of grouped experts so this is moj just like elon musk's doge so this is grouped experts so experts are grouped together and they are activated and selected during the course of a large language model inferencing so when a model execution is distributed across multiple devices which is kind of necessary at this particular point when you are trying to have billions of parameters and this new mixture of grouped experts uh, ensures that there is a balanced computation load across all the systems so and they have built pangu pro moe based on this so the way this works is that when they have to select an expert for a token so for each token an expert has to be selected so they divide the experts into equal groups so then they choose the experts from each group so instead of selecting an expert as like as it is they group the expert into equal groups like they they are trying to if you have got like let's say 24 million active parameters then they are going to create groups of experts and from there they are going to select the group so this way they are going to keep the group active and balance so each group has identical number of activated experts so in a typical distributed deployment setup the experts are assigned to devices according to the group id so moj a mixture of group experts effectively balances the computational load across all the participating devices and this design offers a substantial improvement in throughput in training and also in inferencing scenarios and this is a very simple chart explaining how the imbalance would look between moe and moge mixture of grouped experts so you can see with moe there is a, a very normally distributed imbalance score but with a uh, mixture of grouped experts the imbalance is almost zero so that means there is hardly any imbalance that means you are achieving computational efficiency because there are experts that are balanced like the group is the groups are being balanced through because of the routing in moge now you might be wondering hey how am i going to achieve this so like there are two important things for you to achieve or design the architecture of moge mixture of grouped experts the first one is expert partitioning and the second one is group balanced routing so in any moe mixture of experts routing is very important because routing is how you route a given token to a given expert and in this case you have to route it to a group so there is a group balanced routing happening and i would strongly encourage you to jump into the paper if you want to read more details about it i'll link the paper below the like button in the youtube description but in a nutshell this is exactly how it works and this helps them achieve whatever moe could not do by balancing all the groups out and minimizing the imbalance score almost to zero another very interesting fact about this particular model and also this paper is that they have not only shared that they have used a uh, you know novel technique for training the model but they have also shared how they have enabled a highly efficient inferencing system so you can go read more about the kind of inference optimization that they've done so that if you are trying to deploy a large language model on huawei systems like sn npu then you can use the inference system that they've optimized this is especially important like for companies like open router and other companies and finally it is very important for us to note that this is just not an experimental project but the model also withstands 
the modern uh, state of the art metrics. So Pangu Pro MOE, mixture of experts model when being compared with Quen 2.5 32 billion prime uh, base model, GLM 4 32 billion base model, Gemma 3 27 billion parameter base model and Llama 4 Scout base model. So when you compare Pangu Pro MOE with these models across these benchmarks, there is like a lot of these benchmarks where Pangu Pro MOE is doing pretty good. In fact, like topping the leaderboard. One thing that you have to note at this particular point is they're comparing this against three dense transformer models of size 32 billion parameter, 32 billion parameter and 27 billion parameter. But Pangu Pro MOE has got totally 72 billion parameter, total parameters, but the activated parameters are 16 billion parameters. So there is kind of like a, a stable balance there. And this is being compared with Llama 4 Scout as well. 109 billion total parameters, 17 billion uh, active parameters here. Now, when you compare this for MMLU, MMLU Pro, and you have got uh, Hella Swag, these benchmarks, uh, Pangu Pro MOE is doing pretty good. And this is just a base model in itself. And there are like other benchmarks, Chinese benchmarks, where this model is doing good. Even on reasoning benchmarks like human evil, which is used uh, extremely for coding and you have got GSM 8K for math. This model is doing much better than all the other models of similar size. And the good thing also here is that because there are 16 billion parameter active models, this can be more efficient during inference phase other than this models. So overall, I think this model uh, is, a, is doing a pretty good job. Uh, if whether it is the base model, whether it is the fine tuned model, like the uh, post training fine tuned model across all these benchmarks, I think this is a, this is a really good thing. And if you see the inference efficiency in terms of the speed of this model on their own hardware ascent NPU. So you can see there are three important metrics for you to note. One is TTFT time to first token. The second one is input throughput. How easily how much it can understand the input and then finally you have got the output throughput so across all these three metrics so this has the fastest time to first token you can see 72 billion is uh, activated 16 billion parameter model 4828 input throughput uh, tokens per second and in output throughput you can see 1148 different batch sizes you've got one 456 584 Across different batch sizes, this model keeps on hitting the top output throughput and this is a good thing. So not only that this model is a novel architecture, this is uh, th this scores well, but it is also highly efficient if you want to deploy this model and then serve the model through inferencing techniques that they've given. I think overall Huawei actually comes across as a new player in the GPU market. I mean, I'm not saying Huawei is completely new in the GPU market, but I'm saying that you can use Huawei's new architecture uh, for training, new architecture, the hardware architecture for inferencing, all the optimization that they're doing. And then you can really, really start serving large language model, especially the model like theirs with uh, high inference, which others may not easily be able to serve. And with companies like, for example, OpenAI recently uh, talking to Google to use Google's TPU tensor processing unit, I think more players in this space will reduce the moat of NVIDIA and uh, the unique flavor that NVIDIA is op uh, offering to these large companies to design, train large language models and also to serve large language models. Let me know what you feel about this particular model from Huawei, not just the model, a new player in this highly efficient large language model space. See you in another video. Happy prompting.